A stolen SUV, a car crash, and a four-year-old killed. Tonight, a father says the Atlanta Police Department has some blame in their family's tragedy. He and his son were struck by two teenagers. Police say they were driving a stolen vehicle. And in this incident, officers were not far behind. The father sat down exclusively with CBS 46's Sierra Cummings. DeMarcus Greer Sr. says there is no melody as sad as the song of sorrow he's cried since March 31st. Well, I know the tears ain't gonna never stop. The father wrote these lyrics. My baby boy throw a blessing just like a quarterback. For when conversation is all too much. It's really hard. <laughs> Greer remembers the crash, then a coma. When he woke up in ICU four days later, he learned his son DeMarcus Jr. was gone. Me and my son made it to the Heaven Gates together. And my son looked me in the eyes and said, Daddy, go back. And when he told me to go back, I woke up out of my coma. That Wednesday, Greer and his four-year-old were driving home along Lakewood Avenue when teens in a stolen SUV slammed into them. The father uses a walker now, so much of his body broken. My wrists, my pinky, my hip, ribs, my collarbone. The Atlanta police report indicates officers were patrolling the area in relation to a stolen car. They spotted it at the stoplight, and when the driver noticed the marked police unit, he turned, headed to Lakewood Ave. Greer claims he saw a police pursuit begin and believes officers bear some blame in this case. The police would have never chased me, chased them that they would have never lost control. They would have never hit me. They caused a four-year-old to lose his life. We asked APD for both body cam and dash cam, but the agency told CBS 46 they could not release either, citing the ongoing investigation. The department declined our interview requests as well, but a spokesperson issued this statement. It is important to note there was no active pursuit at the time of the crash. The driver made a series of terrible choices directly contributing to the death of this innocent child. Last year, APD halted the controversial police pursuits, but then resumed the policy this year with restrictions, only allowing suspect chases for specific felonies like robberies, hijacking a car, and murder. We found the most recent federal report based on 2012 data revealed nearly 400 people across the U.S. died in pursuit-related crashes. APD maintains in this incident, the officers only attempted to keep a visual of the stolen car while requesting additional resources in tracking and apprehending the occupants. In the report, the patrol officer wrote they stayed one car behind the suspect, then went around the other cars and used due regard, not wanting to lose sight. Adding they later lost track of the car, then found it crashed. I love you, Ski. But it's an explanation. Greer is adamant, does not match what he saw back then or feels right now. Claiming officers, along with the teen suspects, changed two lives forever. Every night I cannot sleep. I cry every night, every morning when I wake up. Like, this was my junior, this was me. He was all of me. In Atlanta, Sierra Cummings, CBS 46 News.